Good evening, sir. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm, I'm very well. It's another Friday, so that's always a plus. <laughs> well, we're back again. We are back yes. to, to Johnston versus Patterson, part two, the rematch tonight. Um, yes, so, what wh what were you thinking about all week? What uh, what wisdom can you give me as the Confederate player tonight? I have I, I didn't get a chance to go over. I tried to look at the videos, especially when we're doing the repeat, and mm -hmm. I did not. I had plenty of opportunities to do it. Um, normally, I do. Um, I think I had an opportunity to do the panic on day two, and I talked myself out of it, and I think yeah. I should Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, I, I, I think about it, you know, throughout the week, and I go, what am I going to do on Friday? And I, and I try to figure it out, and of course, I can only plan so far, because dice rolling... <laughs> and yeah, uh, and I thought, it, it, and it, my mind did keep coming back to the panic. I was like, well, maybe I should just try the panic. But uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not necessarily gonna telegraph that like right now here to you. But uh, yeah, that, that is a that is a possibility because really, if you think about it, if you if you set it up and everything goes your way and you get two good routes right from the beginning, that's mm -hmm. that's twenty points right there. Bam, bam. Uh, and t 20, 20 panic or 20 morale hit and you could do it on day one theoretically but uh, I don't know I, uh, it's a consideration but it's it's one of the many options because really a confederate player can't do much on day one other than no. kind of figure out what <laughs> what the union's going to do to him later and I'm, I'm sure you're not going to repeat the error that I did which is Max and putting all my units which I thought was what I should do is keeping everybody within the two hexes of Johnson instead of creating well, a well, log jam mess of and enable, enabled you to take that the it's not white sulfur springs it's next the, to where the word oh is. yeah right right the, the the problem is it's it's not necessarily a bad thing to do that because yeah it, it saves you a little bit of of work ahead of time uh, getting ready for for turn two. And you've only got so many routes south once that 31 mm -hmm. column or line is opened up for you. Um, so, I mean, if, if I did that too, then obviously that's that's a thing that we do. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean that you can avoid it. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it as, as we do each and every week. Um, I guess we will do our quick capsule review for anyone who is not watched last week's uh, here in scenario two Johnson versus Patterson it is a it is an amalgam it is a mishmash a melange if you will of, of various points it's like the the wargamer version of a point salad how does the confederate player earn the winning points of 38 to to uh, get that marginal and you can do it from any of these possibilities here. I've, I've pulled up the, uh, the scenario on my screen. And uh, he's got five five brigades to work with, if he can get them all off of there. And get uh, Johnson off there, too. Well, that's, what, 56 points, we said? And, yes. And uh, there is a penalty if he doesn't do that. So there's, mm -hmm. there's the, <laughs> the, the Confederate version of the Peter Principle, I guess. If you uh, if you fail to do that, then you're going to lose six points. Uh, Stuart gives you a couple. And um, then, of course, we have to either prevent the Union at the same time from exiting leaders and units. They get a couple points for each, uh, for each unit that leaves the map and one for each leader. Uh, so that's that's a possibility of of taking things away. So you have to pad it, obviously, um, or you can just go whole hog and be really aggressive and, and try to score the panic, and get yourself a nice 33 point padding right there. Um, I, I guess. I mean, I don't know how many. I would love to see in the play testing for this scenario how often that comes up, and I'm sure it would vary by play style of the individual players uh, playing the Confederates, but. Uh, it's definitely there. It is definitely there. It's tempting as all get out. I mean, since the Confederate players are all, uh, all the units are at least one on their tactical rating. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, setting it up is... Uh, is and the Union are all zero. Exactly. <laughs> with, <laughs> with little or no artillery support. So as those are people not familiar with the all green alike, right. um, the Union is bereft of tactical leadership. Yes. So I think uh, we are in a good position to start. Um, obviously, no no leader transfers on your side. Uh, yes. Trying to remember that. you. Let's see. So Johnston is sitting in Winchester, and I do believe I want to move him as well. So I'm going to move him over to. Let's see. I put him on. I put him on LZ, but I don't want him on LZ. I think I'll put him on. Oh well, yeah, I guess it's it's either uh, Bartow uh, or B or LZ or J oh I guess he could go on Jackson too, but that seems kind of limiting. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll put him on ja on Jackson Johnston onto Jackson. That will be my leader transfer, and uh, we are ready to start round number one, uh, turn number one rather of this game. So. Why don't you give us the die roll for the opening okay. initiative? Here we go. Ooh. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Um, all my guys are over here. So we'll start with Cadwalder's Division. Okay. Here's their movement. That is your minimum two, I guess, for yeah. the, the union with a leader. <laughs> Can I pass now? Um, okay, so here's Thomas. He's going to go two. One, two. Uh, here's Williams. He's going to go... One, two, and here's Longenecker with Cadwalder. And I'm gonna go one. Well, we got the one because it takes two to get to the next one. And I can't do either one. Initiative. Better. Okay. I believe what we will do is uh, I think Johnston will activate uh, Elsie and Smith, and they will both go fatigue them one, and he gets a plus one to his roll, so that is. Two becomes a three, um, and I think he will just cinch both of them uh, onto the road there at 5.30. And that's it. Initiative. Okay. It's me again. All right, Johnston will activate Bartow and B. They'll go to fatigue level one. They get him plus one. That's a little better. So six. Mm. Problem is I got a traffic jam now. Um, do this. Alright, so we'll go B will go uh Johnson's going to transfer to B, I think. And he'll go... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. And then Marto will go... One, two, three, four. 
Yeah, I like that. Let's uh, go with the next initiative. It's yours. Sounds division. Force marker. This is movement roll. It's a two, and it's a two. These guys are very tired today. They worked very hard. So the nightlife in, in Bunker Hill is uh, unprecedented. I'm getting a little bit of great campaigns play. One, one, two. Cross my four markers. One coop. And Nagel. We go one to there. Kelm will go with Capricorn. Initiative. Yours again. I believe we will have LZ self activate. And look at a fatigue level two and march with a minimum of two. Three. One, two, three. Down the Berryville Pike. And initiative. George again. Forced. Um, the Kelms division again. With their movement. There we go. Six. Smith will self-activate, and they get a minimum of two. You get a six. Mm, that's nice. Mm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just do the five there. Uh, initiative. Yours. Okay, I'm going to activate Sanford's division. This is movement. It's five. Start with Butterfield. Go five. Stone. Stone. that horse parker back over here. Patterson's gonna go with them, by the way. I've got Thomas left to move. Initiative, yours. All the Union forces are now committed, and they will react to whatever I do at this point. I'm going to pass. Oh, interesting. Not great. And Walder. Movement. There we go. Six. Thomas first. Oh. 
Where's my line? 28. 28. Right. Missions. Ties go to the Confederacy. Okay. Um, Jackson will self activate. He gets a minimum of two. Gets a three. Initiative. Uh, I will pass. Activate. Same position. Burfield and Stone. Here's their movement. To two. Mine. I feel like Thomas. If you die, eight. Share. Yeah. Okay, Tony Spoon. Seven square. One heck, I should say. Initiative. Yours. I will pass. I will pass also. Okay. Nice bloodless day one. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I will engage the recover button. And looks good. Everybody has reset. I'll advance the turn marker to July 18th, turn two. And we continue. A leader transfers. Any transfers you'd like? I don't believe I have any. Okay. Uh, I will move Johnston to Bartow. And that is all I have. So I'll leave it to you for the first initiative. Here we go. Ties go to the rebel. Okay. This does become quite the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, this is the... This is a, uh, a thinking man scenario. <laughs> I don't know what um, the heck I'm doing here. Because you also have to play the initiative game. I will have Johnston activate Jackson, B, and Bartow. Mm-hmm. Out of fatigue. Of course, here in all green alike, we don't have that nifty keen set up the pincer move. So, uh, let's see. Uh, plus one to this roll. Ooh. Oh. Oh boy. Nice. Yeah. Now you gotta give some thought. Yeah. Is this the scenario where only the first infantry guy can attack? Yes, yeah, that's true of uh, everything in all green alike. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Williams has artillery. Not that I'm looking at Williams. Well, I'm I'm gonna dig myself a hole here. So <laughs> <laughs> this this could be pretty quick tonight, but well, you know, we'll play it out. All right, Jackson will go. Uh, 
overland to here. Um, and B will go... One, two, three, and then Johnston will go here. And we will hope for the next initiative, which is now yours. Of course it is. Of <laughs> course it is, Roger. <laughs> Why would I ever think to get it? In? Ah. All right, it's all yours. Oh, Patterson can activate two units. Is that correct? Right. He can only do nice. two as a district leader. I'm going to use Patterson to activate Stone Brigade and Longenecker's Brigade. So they're both going to take up the team. Okay. I'm just going to move one. So, mission. I'm going to activate Longenecker and Williams. They're going to go, I'm going to call Robert. They're going to go one hex to Washington Springs. There's the mission. Ties go to the rebels. Well, Roger, you've you've brought me a early Christmas gift, I guess. I yeah. I don't know. I was, <laughs> I was hoping to win the initiative there, obviously. Yeah. Um, well, let's let's see if <clears throat> let's see if uh, my my luck remains consistent, and uh, we will we will attempt to have Johnston perform an assault with Bartow. Johnston versus Cadwallader. Um, so he gets a negative two to his roll, and it is good. So I activate them to F two. And, all right, so, plus one for the assault, and plus two for the tactical, and a plus four for flank, and then, uh, let's see, you've got eight, and I've got five, so that's a minus one on minus ratio, one. and then you've got artillery, you've got two pieces? Oh, just one. Okay. So just one. minus one on Artie. Okay. So I think I've got uh, seven up and two down for plus five. Plus five. Yeah. Okay. I knew that's what I was giving you. I was like, oh, I think it's this next initiative, but I didn't get it. it no, it's like you literally, when you did that, you're like, I'm going to move to Washington Spring. I literally lost my breath. I went, <gasps> no. Yeah, I was gambling on the initiative there. I was really. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, so it's a plus five for Confederate uh, Union first, Confederate second. Here we go. First and it's a plus four. Um, which plus four is a D... DR. One DR. Uh, one DR. And oh, one DR capital R. I was in the yeah, wrong column. Yeah. And because you've got eight manpower now, that's doubled to 16. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a really bad decision there. <clears throat> okay, so, and what did I get for five? Let's see, we got five, and I got uh, plus four pieces by one. Oops, and I'm going to move guys to the tree, I think. Yes. Um, okay, so let's do the. The first one was just a straight up 1DR. Mm -hmm. That's one well, manpower for that. And then, um, yeah. depending on which of uh, both pathways, I think, away. Uh, I have a manpower loss, so it is up to you which one you'd like to do. I'm going to go this way, 0727. Okay. So there's another guy off of everybody? Uh, yes. 
When he's at Lee Town, he has to go to nine two six because it's not in my zone of control. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, now I have to follow the roads. Yeah, there you go. One, right, two, have the ZLC top yeah. lock nine. So. Okay. Uh, so we got the VP, uh, and then putting the morale track at sixteen. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. Johnston will activate B and Bartow. Uh, B will go to 2. Bartow will go to 4. And, uh, I could say plus 1. It's a 5. Uh, Johnston is going to transfer over to B. And, uh, he will just go to here. And then Barto has an extended march of plus two. And he passes. And he will go one, two, three, four. Uh, initiative. Okay. <laughs> well. I gotta try it again. Um, so Johnson will send B to three and make a command roll for an assault on Patterson. And it comes off. Uh, so I think it's a. Um, you're still eight there, right? Or you're ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's still, yeah, one to two. But this time yeah, he's still got. One to two. Uh, he's still got the one artillery, so I think it's exactly the same. It's, uh, exactly the same. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, plus five, here we go. Uh, it's plus five. Same result? No, uh, worse result. One, one worse, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, off each one, I guess. Uh, yeah, this one will be uh, 2DR, because they're... Oh, oh, oh. I can't even say I was drinking. Oh, God, that's <laughs> sad. Well, this one, you've got roads in both ways, so you're, you're <laughs> not going to lose anything on that. It's it's so much better. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I have to go, I can go either way, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the same difference. Go this way. One, oh, get back there. Two, three, four. Okay. And, um... <clears throat> it's all yours, that spot, if you want it. Um, yes. Johnston will advance into it. Um, and roll for panic. Uh, yes. So let me take the 2DR for that. <clears throat> and uh, advance the panic uh, 20 points. So, to 36... And, uh, okay. Oh, that's automatic. It's automatic. Oh, that's right, because it's more than 10, right? It's more, yeah, that's it's right. more automatic at this point. So, okay. um, golly, now I gotta go read the rules about all the restrictions I have on me. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you now have the capability of doing, uh, retreat marches. So, both of, you know, those guys, Cadwallader and Patterson, can march northward, uh, to fatigue level 5 and 6, if they wish. Which helps me so much. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so I will then, uh, see, I'll put that at three, three just to mark that. I think there's other restrictions that are Okay, uh, initiative. Uh, it's mine. So, uh, <clears throat> I guess Johnston will, uh, activate B to march, uh, plus one. Seven. Uh, extended March is now a plus two. And 
he's okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, initiative. It's me again. Um, Smith will march. And he just gets a minimum of two. It's four. Initiative. Away. Oh well, you know, <laughs> call, we call it a fighting withdrawal. Uh, initiative, it's yours. Oh wow, okay. Um, oh, what a disaster! I'll activate uh, Kelmus Division. Their movement two, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Initiative. Me again. Wait the same three. I think I have movement restrictions, but I'm not. Oh, they lose a one from their combat die roll. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yes. That's what, okay. I thought it was movement. And we might not force march. Okay. Not force march. Okay. And if I'm retreating, I can march past. Maybe this thing Patterson ought to do. Um, okay. Keep. Two. 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 and Two. 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 Four. This is there's a <coughs> excuse me. When Abercrombie's extended march. So two, he's actually okay. This one die plus two, so then four. Two, three. There's Nagley, that's a two, three. There's his extended march roll. Or he does flip. He goes one, two, three. That's as far as he can go. Initiative. Cedric. Well, very nicely done. You've, uh, you've boxed them in a little bit there. A uh, little late. A little late. Well, we'll see what we can do here. All right. Well, Johnson will activate Smith and Elsie. Uh, Elsie goes to one. Smith goes to two. We get a plus one to that. All right. Well, Johnson will transfer to Elsie. Smith will go one hex there, and Elsie and Johnson. Oops, Johnson will go there. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. All right, and we'll activate them again. Which advance one, and their movement is a three. Okay. 
Is he first? His ex uh, he doesn't have an extended march. He's only two, so he's going to go one, two, three. And Smith has an extended march of plus one. He's okay. Just go over land there. All right. Now I feel like I have to play conservative. <laughs> uh, initiative. It's yours. So you're at 35 points? Uh, I've got the 33 for the panic, and then um, I'm plus 5 on the manpower losses, so uh, 38. Incredibly enough. Still 38, so you have a marginal victory. But if it were to end right now, I'd lose six for not getting the requisite yes, number. Yes, that's it. Yeah, so I've got 32, said, really, yeah. Doing the math. Yep. Uh, I haven't lost yet, no, incredibly enough. No, you haven't. It's, it's weird in that because of this situation right now, I'm precariously guarded because I have to protect the meager gain that I've gotten right now with the, <laughs> with the panic. I'm going to activate Thomas. This is die roll. Seven. Initiative. Yours. Well, I feel like I need to use my cavalry too, so I will activate Stuart. And he will get a plus one to his, so I'll get eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, initiative. It's yours. I'm going to activate Thomas again. Let's see movement. Ten. Two. Six, seven, three left. It's only this for the ferry. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Um, I'm gonna leave him there. I think that's my best. Here's the initiative. It's me again. I'm gonna try to pin Jackson down. I guess I'll talk about what I'm trying to do. I want to attack Jackson with Thomas, mm -hmm. so that I can fatigue him. Right. Hopefully. So getting him off right. becomes hard. You're really the only option you have for that is just a straight up march and hope you don't roll a one to get a hasty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's probably still my best thing to try to do here. Sure. To, sure. Yeah. to activate Thomas. So he's going to get Teague one. Here's his movement. He gets a one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can always march in place and try again. Oh, true enough. True enough. Yeah, he um, he's not obligated to attack. He can just you could or move. Yeah, he can just uh, get everybody up to the line and pull back. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. Um, of course, you're probably going to retreat now, but um, maybe uh, you may win the next <laughs> initiative. Yeah, so, initiative. So many variables. Ah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Jackson senses something is amiss. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas got everybody up the line and right. called it off. Uh, he will self-activate and march with a minimum of two, and it's two. Look at that. Um, so he will go. No matter where he goes, it's a minimum, so he will... Uh, his best bet is to pull out towards the main road. So there you go. That is my initiative. Next initiative. It's yours. 
Well, I'm gonna activate. Actually, I could do this. Could have done this last time. Sanford and um, Butterfield and Thomas. So there's their movement. So, we'll so it's a minimum of two, two because Patterson did it. Yeah. Um, Thomas goes to T two without extended march. But Patterson is going to transfer to Thomas as is Sanford is in there somewhere. Um, so that I don't think you can do because oh, I can't? well, Patterson can go with Sanford, but Sanford could not go with Patterson because Patterson oh. did the activating. That's the the weirdness with the division versus the uh, district leaders. And plus, uh, Thomas isn't part of Sanford's command. He's Cadwallader's. He's first division. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, Patterson can activate him. He just can't. He can't drag him over there when he transfers. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So it's gonna go to T four. Here's the extended march. I think it's a plus three. Uh. Oh, hey, made it. In there. I think there's a violation marker in there somewhere. Mine. So, to activate, can I do a core assault with Patterson? I can, can right? Yeah, and he's a district, so it's a minus two to his role. So, so that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah. So if you can get anything four or less, then you can still do a divisional assault. And of course you get to <laughs> <laughs> right. So, okay. Um, Mystic. Mine again. The fates want this you to time, keep trying. This time it's for the money. <laughs> Got money on this die roll. There you go. Yeah, okay, so. Um, you get a plus one. So we got, Jackson. we got Patterson versus Jackson, right? Uh, so you got a plus one for the assault. And you got zero. The artillery is a zero, which on clear terrain is a minus two. So I think this is a minus two assault. It's minus one for tactical. Piece. Yeah. And then minus one for artillery since I only have one piece. E oh, even so it's minus two, and I'm just hoping to get you the T. Just want to sap me out, yeah. That's a good plan. Finally, I have a good plan. The rest <laughs> of the plan is pretty. Won't say it, so you're not dead it out. Um, hey, there you go. Inconclusive, but uh, and in one D for me. But you succeeded in what you wanted to do. Increase uh, what? whole time I've, I've had the wrong manpower out there. Yeah, that was what, that was like, what confused me. I realized you done that. I thought, okay, I know I haven't done anything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, okay, so uh, I'm sitting quietly uh, for the rest of this turn, at least. And uh, you decrease yours by one, so yeah. Okay. You succeeded in what you wanted. Yeah, yeah, hopefully I'll get the negative six for that. Well, I was kind of already factoring that, um, because there's just, I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to get Jackson all the way down there. I mean, he was he was resigned to kind of rear guard Winchester. Um, so we'll see if he can still fulfill that ability. It's Jackson. He can march his men to death. Uh, I have the initiative, so I'll roll for it. Uh, yours. Okay. Well, in light of that, uh, and because we've got Thomas being a roadblock down there, I feel it's imperative now at all 
hazard to get Johnston out of here. Get him out of the valley. Uh, so Johnston will activate LZ to three. And he gets plus one to this. Uh, okay. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that over there. That's a, that was a big smirk. Um, all right, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's do a plus one for his extended march. Okay, he's all right. So he's going to get two. Unless. Um, I believe it is time to do a force march. So we will flip and we will roll. Ugh, okay. Mm. No loss, but he gets only two extra. Uh, so it's a total of four. Alright. One, two, three, four. Alright. Uh, initiative. That's me again. Alright. Uh, Johnston presses LZ to four. And gets plus one to this. Six. Um, now his extended march is plus two. And he is going to lose the manpower. And so now we got one, two, three, four. Two remaining. What would Thomas like to do? Well, I don't see any point to give you a point here, so I will cav well unless I get a one, so I'm gonna cav retreat. See what you just did? You just said it. You said it. Why would you I say know. It? never say it? <laughs> okay. Didn't happen. That's good. Uh, I have a creek. I don't know what that helps. With the uh, yes, it is a plus one. Mm. Yeah, very small is negative four, so it's a negative three to your roll. So it's a a one, which does nothing to my move. Yeah, might as well retreat him off from that. Okay. All right. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go to Upperville. All right, and uh, I will advance the two. Just get ready for the last turn. Uh, initiative. It's yours. I'll activate Williams. Movement. So three. Extended march. He's going to lose another manpower. One. He lost the demolition marker. Two, three. Issue. Yours. Stuart will march to fatigue level two. And get plus one. Six. Two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Yours. I'm going to activate and Nagley. Just their movement. Three. come first. Goes to next level, which is a four. This is extended march. He's going to flip. One, two, three. Nagley is extended march. He's going to lose a manpower. He can go. Moon Coop. And he's gonna flip as well. Wow. All three. One, two, three, four. I think he uh, can only go three. So oh, it's, yeah. I roll three? I did. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's right. My brain is not uh, <laughs> functioning tonight okay. at all. Um, initiative. Yours. Uh, assessing the board. Let's see. Wind Coop's at three. Kelm done. Nigley's at three. Uh, I'll pass. 
me poop my own unit. I'll go ahead and activate him. So we can go to four. This is extended march. Two plus three. He actually doesn't lose a guy. It's amazing. Okay. He's going to go to Kane's chapel. All right. Initiatives, eyes, oars. I'll pass. I will pass because I got nobody left. Okay. So on to recovery. And everything goes according to what's like. We got fatigues. We got exhaustion. Yeah, good. Okay. Good. Let us uh, move to turn number three. I would say we are back, ready for a very interesting turn number three, it would seem. Uh, let us review before we go on to turn number three. Where are we? Uh, we are sitting, let's see, Confederate's currently sitting at 39 victory points. Uh, potentially some more with... Johnston, as you pointed out, uh, in a position to get <laughs> what, 24 points. Uh, mm -hmm. so he exits the valley. Stewart with a couple more. But you've still got a lot of activity going on potentially up there. So, I mean, I, I certainly would not discount the possibility of you inflicting a panic as well. I mean, you certainly could do it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah, it, it almost yeah, seems yeah. like that is where you switch gears and you go into that mode. I don't know. Let me hear your thoughts. What are you thinking? I think that's uh, well. I'm doing the math. <laughs> <laughs> I was told there was gonna be no math. Right. Too, so. <laughs> um, I get everybody off, which is unlikely given your arrangement and what I've done to myself with that group over on the western side of the map. I gotta get 19... I gotta take 19 points away from you, I believe. Or 21, because you're gonna get... S uh, Stewart's gonna leave as well. Right. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> um, Pretty yeah, that, slim one. And, and, and that's where I... <laughs> I, if you've ever, I mean, when you get to know me a little bit better and, and my, my history with games, is I get a lead and then it's like the Miami Dolphins. If I'm using a Miami Dolphins analogy, and I think that's appropriate here, they would get a lead <laughs> and then <laughs> squander the lead and lose because, it, you know, you, you, you peak you peak a little too soon. Uh, so that I'm incredibly guarded by the good fortune, of course, of this this panic that I have inflicted on the Union forces, but that does not mean in any way, shape, or form that I am not completely and totally guarded and prepared for ultimate doom. <laughs> I mean, it's possible that I could create a panic. I mean, it's it is. There. It is. That's what's on the table, and no matter how many points I get above and beyond the 33 mark, if you erase the 33, then I'm, yeah, I'm right back at... You know, I, the only thing I have going in my favor is is a plus six manpower loss right now. And of course, you figure mm -hmm. you figure in the the inflicting of panic, there is going to be some manpower loss potentially, unless you just get the bare minimum of the the dr with no manpower losses uh, or nothing on the retreat. So you could you could bring that gap closer too. Uh, so I am yeah. I am extremely interested to see, and I I hope the viewers are as well. To see what will happen here on day three. Uh, and, and something we do need to remember is I have a minus one built in all my attacks. This is true. So that does make things a little more hard, you know, more difficult. Uh, and that means you've got to, there's a, there's a setup process for every single one of those. You have to take uh, absolute advantage of, of uh, setting up those flanks. Now, of course, that telegraphs exactly what you're doing, and that means that while while each of those pieces are moving, then I've got a chance to to wriggle away, but that's that's what's got to happen, you know. If if it's the only stopgap measure here is to is to erase that th thirty three points, um, and were I in your position, I would exactly do the same thing. I mean, you just have to do it. But 
we we uh, we'll see how it goes because the dice always are a factor, and the dice hate us. Uh, yes. <laughs> of course, leader transfers first. I always want to forget that. So do your leader transfers. I think I'll leave everybody where they are. I don't see any advantage to moving anybody. Okay. Then I will let you do the honors and hey. roll the first initiative. You're, you're, you're going to move Johnson. Yeah, of right? course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to 23 skidoo right out of the valley. He's going to go up to Jackson. Right. Hold up there. Um, okay, initiative. See what, see how things go here. Uh, yours. Okay. Um, we'll, uh, we'll take advantage of getting Johnson out of the valley. Uh, so he will activate... LZ to two, and get a plus one. He gets that More what he that. needs, and uh, extended march is now a plus two. And he's okay, so he will go one, two, and exit the valley, and add twenty-four points. I think you said right. So 20, um, one, two, yeah, twenty-four four. points. Yeah. Okay. Uh, an initiative. It's mine again, so let's see if we can get Stuart out of the valley. We've got a fatigue level one. And F2. Or, yeah. Seven, I think that's enough. One, two, yep. three, four. That's four. Okay. Alright. Uh, initiative. So, primary. Uh, assignments have been completed. Uh, it is now yours. Okay. Can I do one coop? Two, two. This is one can move one thing from the extended march. He is fine. Let's go over there. Initiate. Me. He has set it up. So now let's see. So we've got you have no artillery. Uh, so minus two, I think plus two. So yeah, I'm just gonna roll for the divisional assault. Okay. So Kane versus Smith. It's fine. Gets it. So what's going to happen? So plus one assault. And the is going to go to two. Attack. So this is a three versus a five ratio. So that's a minus one, one ratio. And plus one throws that out. And then you get a plus four uh, for flank. That's nice. Plus four flank. So it's a plus four. I uh, see. Do you have artillery? No. Uh, no no artillery. There, there we go. go. Boom! Look at that. That's what that's what we're talking about. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. Smith did not know it hit him. Uh, putting putting a massive hurting on poor Smith. Uh, oh. Two dr. Okay, and I'm gonna lose some more on the exit. Uh, so here we go. Uh, let's give him a fatigue marker. Move that to three. He is not getting out of the valley. Uh, he loses two. Boom. boom. He flips and goes demoralized. Clearly done. Flip. Okay. Uh, so let's give you the two manpower losses for that, and then give you the ten for the panic. Now I'm starting to shake a little bit. Oh, premonitions of doom. All right. Um, where can I do the least harm, the most good? Uh, la, 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 la. I think I will get him. So we'll do one there, and that's gonna lose him another manpower. Okay. And then two, three, four. Five back to Winchester. Okay. And uh, I take it yours was just a strictly an advance, clearly. Yeah. Yep. So great job. These guys are massive 
Union uh, retaliation. Now, can you do it one more time? Let's find out. <laughs> uh, initiative. Nice. Yours. Okay. You got to get B. Uh, he's a six. Hmm. Right, he's going to get a two. And he's going to self march, so a minimum of two. Gets a four. Four. Alright. So he needs to get out of a position to be routed. We go one, two, three, four. So if I can draw you away a little bit. Um, next initiative. Mine again. Okay. So B will go to three. Minimum of two. It's a five. Uh, his extended march is now uh, one, two, two. It's a plus two. And he hmm. flips. Flips, though. Now, can you just march him off that road? Uh, no, I can't go out that point. Well, you can't go out. Yeah, no, that's not an exit point for me, so uh, I have to go down to here. So, one, two, three, four, five. All right, initiative. That's me again. So, yeah. Just got to take away this opportunity. Um, he will go to four. Minimum of two. He gets a three. And his extended march is now really ugly. Uh, three, four, plus four. So he's going to lose a manpower. And one, two. He'll just stay there. All right, initiative. That's mine again. Barto will march. Get a minimum of two. It's a three. Uh, one, two, three. He has an extended march of plus one. He's okay. Initiative. It's mine again. Mm. Do Barto to three. Let's see what he gets. Minimum two. Minimum two. Okay. His extended march is now a plus two. And he's going to flip. Initiative. Yours. I'm going to activate the Stanford Stone Butterfield. Here's our movement. It's a two. So he goes to two. This is Stanford. Here's his extended march. Plus two, I think, on him. So he's gonna flip. He can go to Butterfield extended march. He's actually okay. Two. Initiative. Yours. I will pass. You will pass. And the reason I'm passing is uh, Stone is demoralized, so he will not contribute to a flank. So oh, they don't. They that's do right. right. So. I, I figured that's why that movement was happening. I just wanted to make sure we're on the same page about it. So, 
We were not. Okay. Thank you for that. Sure. I think I think my only chance now is for Patterson to attempt an assault against Jackson. It is. Um, or, yeah, either one, Jackson or Bartow. Um, that's why I got Bartow down there, just to kind of be in the, in the, in the shelter of the, the fort there. Um, yeah, I can't see getting... I mean, yeah, with with uh, with both with all of Stone's or Sanford's division demoralized, they're not going to be help. And Cadwallader and, and Williams, Cadwallis they're in Longenecker. They're not going to help. Um, uh, so yeah, really, the only option you have is to, to bring Kaim and Wincoop up to try it, and they're at two each or three. Yeah, yes. two. So two. that's that's some hard margin. Uh, or to try Patterson and just get lucky. Um, yep, I think. But if it, if it were me, what I would do is, at the very least, try to position Kimes' units up there. Uh, and then, of course, if you if you get too close, I'll try to wriggle out of it. But you could get some really good movement rolls and get up yeah. there to, to set up a flank. So Kime will activate... Well, everybody, I guess. Just want to not do that and see what we can do. Um, so here's their movement. Three. So we do wing cup, wing coop first. This is extended march. He is going to lose the guy. This ammo cup is extended march. He's going to lose the guy. There's Mingling's extended march. Initiative. Mining time. Now the one thing that, that Sanford's division would be good for is even though they don't contribute to the flank, they can cut off avenues of retreat, inflicting mm -hmm. manpower losses. So that is something to consider. I'll try the same thing, see how far they can get. I need a six. Get a four. Kind of helps. Uh, Wincoop can get up there, yeah. yeah uh, actually, both of them can get up there to at least surround. So Wincoop goes. There's his extended march. This is three, but that's enough to lose a guy. One, two, three, four. His extended march. He's not this guy. March, he's going to die. Four. Yours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Jackson does feel some pressure building so he will uh, he will self-activate uh, getting a huge roll which he didn't really need but um, yeah. he will go to there and he has an extended march of plus one and he is going to lose a manpower now could he I mean why don't you go all the way to bar oh no he lost one two I see that's uh, four. well, let's see, uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's three, four, uh, and I we rolled a to go. six, so, um, yeah, I can't get any farther, uh, yeah, I can't get any farther. Yeah, so, yeah, you have to go to 527 or back to right, three, right. Three, three, two, seven. So, this one seems like the, the most logical place in case Patterson cinches up. Yep. Okay. Yeah, uh, initiative. Uh, I will... I will pass and see what you're going to do. Activate Thomas. This movement hole is a whopping two. That's always enough to do yeah. one hex. Extended mark, she's a three, which is a plus, you know, from a one to a two. It's just a plus, plus two. two. Yeah, he's fine. Five. So he actually doesn't lose another guy. 
It's in there. Yep. Initiative. Yours again. What would Jackson do? Jackson would fight back. <laughs> He'd probably attack. He, he would. He would. Um, Which you could do. That. I could okay. do that, and that would sap you out. And I've got, uh, I've got three. You've got three. Jackson for a one artillery. I don't have any artillery. Right. No, I do have, a, I do have a gun. Take it. And back. he is your only chance for doing anything. So let's activate Jackson to three. Gets a minimum of two. He gets a three. Uh, I have to see if I lose a manpower from Extended March, which is now plus two. And he does, so that becomes a factor. So now it's a minus one for uh, man or for ratio. Looking less palatable now. It's a negative one. Uh, or I could just seek the safety of Bartow. We'll just we'll pile up there. <laughs> we'll hole up, as it will. Uh, since you'd be attacking at a disadvantage. So, yep, we're going to do that. Uh, initiative. Uh, I will pass. Oh, I think Thomas. I'm going to go to T3. Here's his movement. Well, then he's not going to go one hex, so I just extended march. There's a four, which is enough to cause him to lose yet another manpower. Initiative. Mine. We'll do a Patterson attempt. So you're going to go to D4. Alright, for all the marbles? Well, not yet. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess this is sort of like the last hour of an inning. <laughs> um, and he gets the last hour of the inning. No, he doesn't, because it's... Yeah, it is. Uh, it's 5-5 five, five is 0. is 3, yeah. It's a 3. So. I believe that is all. That is it, yeah. I mean, I got... I mean, I could try to get some units off just to not make it worse, but... Yeah. Uh, they couldn't do anything. Yeah, I don't think it would... Uh, so, uh, as, we, as we wrap up the score here, then I will take away... Uh, six victory points for not meeting all of them getting off. Uh, and that leaves me now with a um, manpower of differential of three to six, so it's plus three in my favor, uh, with a score of 52, so it's a 55, I believe is the final score. Uh, that, that is a Confederate Decisive. Yes. yes. So, all right. Let's. Uh, final thoughts. What do we? What do we think about this? What happened? I, uh, Tell me where it went well, south. Literally. I, I. I. I gambled trying to get that flank on B, uh, and I knew doing it. I was. I had to get the initiative, and I didn't. And that was it. After that, it was you know you got the route, got the second route, and. Uh, Dug a hole, huge hole. Almost dug my way out. That came close. That was the. I mean, obviously, that was the the glaring. That was the only thing uh, of what was otherwise. <laughs> what's the line from Seinfeld? Spoiled, but was otherwise a perfect day. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, I felt. You know, where do I want to gamble? I felt like somewhere I was going to have to gamble, and I thought the way it was set up, I thought I had. A chance. Yeah, to, well, I, I mean, I, I want to, I'm curious just to, in your mindset, uh, and, and this is this is in no way, shape, or form trying to rub it in, but I am curious as to, um, statistically, you know that, I mean, we, we know that the I'm more likely, or the Confederate's more likely to, to yes. get the initiative because of the ties. Um, so, in that one, of all the, of all the possibilities there, um, why did you want to intentionally go into that flank? Because were you trying to set up? Because you were in a position. I thought if we if we rewind the tape and go back, you were uh, you had Patterson and Stone on one side yes. to set it up. Um, yeah, I, I I thought I could get the flank on B and and that would set up 
I, yeah, I kind of almost wish I'd saved the game there. I need to start doing that so I can go back and, and look at because I don't really remember the setup. But I thought I saw well, yeah, at, like, at two point, initiatives in a row. I think that point you had, because I was setting up the... The, I at that point I had a five hex cover because the two mm-hmm. the two the two wings were out there, each covering two, and then Jackson on the south, and uh, and you had uh, you had Stone and with, I guess the other half of Stone or whomever it was, but uh, maybe Cadwallader, it was Butterfield. I believe. Oh, that's right. It was Cad. Yeah, Cadwallader, and uh, you had it so that they were providing at least a, you would have had five hexes on them. So you had, I think you had a two flank ready to go if you if you're willing to take that gamble on that and that's what i thought i thought okay here comes the assault and then you said i'm going to move them over and i i literally i had my my microphone muted and i, I had this massive intake of breath <laughs> i i couldn't i couldn't believe it i was like um and i didn't want to correct you because i mean you had a, you had a plan you had a reason yeah and he, it was all based on all getting that next initiative right. and and that was that that and to that, ladies uh, and gentlemen, we welcome you to the great campaigns of the American Civil Yeah, War. I mean, it was, um, I mean, I could see what you were, I thought you were going, you were going for, and that was what I thought about all week, was if, if you go for the 33 points, right. I, I didn't think I could stop you, unless I beat you to it. Exactly, um, exactly. And and uh, and you saw, I mean, I, w- I, I, I really, when that six came up, I thought, oh, for want of not having to attack on the first move, because I, I was gonna set exactly that, just set it up like that, and then you know have Johnson come in and 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 smack him in the chops. But you can't do that, so I had to take a breath, set it up, and then you won the next initiative. And I went, oh, okay, he's gonna wriggle out of it. And then you you yeah, you did that. You went even, you went right into it. <laughs> yeah, went even deeper. Right. Um, it's yeah. I mean, it's the, definitely. I mean. What did well? We we know that the gamble did not pay off, but to you, did it yeah. feel like it was a worthwhile gamble? To, to that's go? where I'd like to. I wish I'd saved the game so I could go back and look and see. Okay, did I see how I thought it was going to play out? Right. Um, I knew I was sticking my head in the in the guillotine there. Yeah, um, yeah, and and I I I was I was sitting there waiting for that. You know, I was squinting my eye when you rolled the next one, and and I was couldn't believe it. You must have seen, see. Go back and when when it runs, I'll try to. <laughs> you know, I'll get to that point, your marks screenshot in, yeah. it, right. put it up on the, you know, reset this game to that point and go, okay, did I, it would have played out the way I thought it would have. Let's get into the time At, machine, Sherman. <laughs> um, and I've done that a couple of times on some other ones, and it's like, oh, no, right. this is, I really didn't see it, because I, I definitely lose track of things like creeks and things like that that always jump up and bite me and um, well, not the- quite get the flank calculated correctly or the artillery calculated correctly or the ratio calculated correctly i think that i mean the system really does reward gambles like that it's just it it's it, it it just makes you die just a little bit inside when that gamble doesn't go that way because like all i needed was one pip one pip or you know whatever yeah. right or one, you know, you're looking for a four movement, you get a three. Exactly. Oh yeah, and I, or, I, or I'd rather one. I'd rather just get the six one split and say, okay, you know, Smith got beat, <laughs> he just got thumped, yeah. than have it, you know, where I needed it to be exactly this, and it, it's one away. I hate when it's one away, because that always happens. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, this is uh, this is uh, I think a really good uh, counterpoint to last week. Uh, totally different games, obviously, you know. I, I played, oh, very different. Played it uh, much more aggressive, but um, I, I wonder, I wonder if if that is the way to do it for the Confederate uh, is to strike, strike fast, strike hard, no mercy, as they say in Cobra Kai, um, and then and then protect the lead, because they, you, then you got like, you got like four initiatives in a row, and some great rolls, and you got Kaim down there, and I went, uh oh, now he's now the fortune has swung to block. And uh, you know, just getting the panic isn't enough. You got to get that and some other things. Yeah, it gets you close. That was yeah. The panic gets you close. Right. And and you but, know how superstitious I am. So. <laughs> and and it and you got and I, the thing I didn't think about when I put my troops there was the second piece. Okay, what happens if I lose the initiative? I knew I was going to lose the battle more than likely unless something went really well. That is an was, ed- that is an 
excellent point and that's you know that's of course they always say that's you know that's basic strategic thought is to uh, and and I mentioned it way way back when when I make my calcul my mental calculus of okay do I attack here what and and I always presume okay I get the one and he gets the six what is the worst thing that I'm willing to do that can also certainly extend to all right what happens if I if I get the four movement instead of the five all right and I do get the next initiative all right what is my plan and so often especially for me in this game is I'll think one or two uh, but then I'm in, I'm embarrassed by good fortune and I get five in a row and now I've got no plan I don't uh, I don't know what mm. to do I've, I've caught I've caught the car I don't know what to do now uh, so that that gets that bites me a lot is uh, just not not having the the iterative plan beyond two or three. Uh, I'm trying to do that more and more, but uh, you you know every time I try to do that, oh then the dice the dice get you. Yeah. You know. So since yeah, we are chance. recording these not only for our own you know self-aggrandizement and posterity, but since we're recording these for new players, what, in your own words, what would you suggest after playing the scenario now twice? Um, what would you suggest for new players, uh, especially um, from from two facets, for the all-green-alike facet and for this scenario specifically, what what strategic tidbits would you give after playing both sides now? I think what you said, the Confederate player should play for the 33 points. I think so too. Yeah. From the get go, yeah. from the get go, yeah. try to and because the union player cannot really do it. I mean, how do you keep that from not happening? Almost. I mean, you got to bunch your guys together, right? A bunch your guys to. Um, and you saw how I, how I I spread them along that whole line along the railroad there, just to say, okay, I need I need possibilities. So if mm -hmm. if I can if if I can you know envelop you, then great. Uh, if not, then I'm in a position to to run south on turn two, just right right from the get go. Yeah, and maybe the counter is not what I tried to do. Is the counter on the union side? And again, this is, uh, how many times would, would this have to be played out so you can see the different strategies? Sure. Um, sure. Again, the dice roll yeah. is to 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 head east. Well, between away. what I did last week and I, and I and I saw a very similar variation of it tonight. I, I think you have you have three divisions and they each have a th a specific use. I think because uh division one has the only artillery pieces for the most part, I think uh I see stone there with one. But uh consistently I think the first division all have pieces. They're the ones that you want to make sure are doing the heavy lifting um mm -hmm. for either attacking or being attacked by Johnston so that you know that is that is a minus one wherever you come from and no and obviously there's no difference in clear rolling here but if you put both divisions together now that's a minus two so that gives you the greatest uh i think strategic punch for the union side that's a good, that's, that's um a really good idea. but the uh but otherwise yeah i really depending on the die rolls fan out i i, I like that because then you you're keeping them occupied if you go down the west side, okay, all right, is he going for Winchester? I don't know. Got to keep an eye on him. That's why I kept Jackson there, just just in case you were you were going to get playful with Winchester. Uh, and then you went down towards Summit Point on the east side here, and uh, and I figured, well, all right, he's earmarking those just for quick quick exit or to block block the southern pass down to uh, to the the double exit there in the in the Blue Ridge. Uh, so yeah, just spreading out. That's that that <laughs> in this scenario that's really what you can do as the union just to keep keep you the Confederate on his toes. I think. <laughs> but not too thin, because then he'll attack you. <laughs> as promised, I'm sitting here holding holding the billet, uh and last week we had uh one, two, three, four, five, six attacks. And this week we had four attacks. Uh, as promised, uh, I gave. I think you, I only had one tonight. That's you only had one, memory. but it was that nice plus eight there of Kime versus Smith. Uh, we had the one inconclusive of Patterson versus uh, Jackson, uh, and then my two right there that set up the right at the beginning or of turn two that that did, inflicted the panic. As the Confederate player, I w I wanted to use attacking, but only as only when absolutely necessary, and because those two just went so well, I was like, well. 
now I'm not going to attack anymore. I just want yeah. to. I just yeah. want to get out of here. <laughs> Remember, we can always blame the dice. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be fun if we couldn't blame the dice. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah. If this was all scripted out, it'd be kind of. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I am going to retire for the evening, but I thank you for a very good game again tonight. And, yeah. Uh, thank you. Enjoyed it. Yeah. I'll see you next week. Yes, for, and I'll read up on McDowell's opportunity, and I'll play this scenario a couple times. Okay. Probably, trying to figure out yeah. the best way to to win this game. Excellent. Well, I look forward to it, and you have a great weekend, Roger. You too. All Thanks, right. Patrick. Sure. Bye.